streets, blocking international commercial traffic. This is all documented. The data is out there. Uh, Eduardo Espinosa, who was here, was instrumental in doing the study. We've got a lot of exploitation that is happening, but also uh, the imbalance of power between the North and the Global South. And it is time that we're now reclaiming our resources. And what you see is a people that is empowered. And this is who we are. This is what we're doing today. Ja, PHM, das People's Health Movement, ist ein aktivistisches Netzwerk von ähm, Gruppen, Einzelkämpfern, Akademikern, Leuten von Basisbewegungen, die seit vielen Jahren, oft Jahrzehnten schon, für Gesundheit in ihren jeweiligen Ländern kämpfen und das aber auch gemeinsam in einem internationalen, globalen Netzwerk zusammentragen und dann auch gemeinsam Initiativen entwickeln um sozusagen das nicht nur in ihren einzelnen Ländern zu tun, sondern auch auf einer größeren Ebene abzustimmen, sich auch zu unterstützen gegenseitig. We need to be a contribution to a broader movement which needs to change the world. And when I say a broader movement, I mean there will be inputs to this broader movement from those campaigning for environmental justice, those campaigning for fair and safe work, etc. So we are just a tributary to a bigger river. And we can interest people who are either working in the area of health or particularly involved with health. And I think that we can use that to take them forward to a deeper analysis of the causes of the problem, which in our view is uh, global capitalism, which we need to change. If we don't change it, the future for our children and grandchildren is very bleak. I think what I'm doing is something that is shared by a lot of other people, which is uh, to try to, to build a society, a global society, which believes that health is not an input, that health is the collective outcome of all that we are doing in terms of policies at the level of society, in terms of economic policies, in terms of po uh, political processes. So health is finally an outcome and a collective of all that we are doing. So if you are getting it right, then we have health. If you're not getting it right, then we have ill health. So that's what we are trying to do, to build a society which believes that health is finally what every human being on this earth deserves, and deserves because it is a fundamental right. And those who deny that right need to be shown up for what they are. So that's what the People's Health Movement stands for, and that's what I have been trying to do with a lot of my comrades and colleagues all over the world. Also für uns ist das People's Health Movement von wirklich strategischer Bedeutung, weil dieser Ort sich erst herausbilden muss. Der Ort des gemeinsamen Debattierens, der Definierung von gemeinsamen Strategien, des gegenseitigen sich Unterstützens, des Austausches. Das ist für uns, für Medico wichtig. Wir können ja nichts machen als kleine Organisation, die hier in Deutschland präsent ist, genauso wenig wie unsere Partner irgendwo in der Welt. Also sie brauchen diese Orte, sie brauchen das, um sich hier zusammenzufinden und Deswegen haben wir auch natürlich gefördert unsere Partner, dass sie nach Cape Town kommen, dass sie dabei sind, dass sie mit anderen diskutieren. Und diese Möglichkeit, an so einer globalen Öffentlichkeit teilzuhaben, auch für sich realisieren können. Ich denke, der People's Health Movement ist important for two fundamental reasons. One is in drawing attention to the nature of some of the challenges that we face. That although they might be local, there are global dimensions to these problems. The second reason that PHM is important is in drawing on solidarity across several countries and across the various struggles. To me, the PHM is important because it helps people, whether they're in Nigeria, South Africa, Nicaragua, the Patagonia of Argentina, parts of Southeast Asia, India, it helps us realize 
that the problems that we are dealing with at the local level are not problems that are ours alone and that this, these kinds of problems are felt by people all around the world. And the most important thing that PHM can do is to bring people together, discuss these issues, and find ways that together, through solidarity and through understanding, we can help to combat some of these um, limits to the rights to health.